kids, it's me, Miss Booksy. Today we're gonna start a new story about Halloween. This is the story of Tricky Jack and how he helped bring about some of our favorite Halloween traditions. Let's jump right into chapter one. Tricky Jack was known as the biggest prankster in town. He was always causing trouble, like drawing on the walls, jumping in the public pool, taking candy from the candy store, Oh no! Jack just took my whole stock of chocolate lollies! And tying people's shoes together. <laughs> I'm the trickiest trickster in town! He even once pants the mayor! And therefore, my fellow compatriots, in our time of being, we... <gasps> that sneaky little punk! Tricky Jack is the worst little trickster in the whole dang town! One day, Jack's antics caught the attention of a sneaky witch. Excuse me, what was it you just said about the trickiest person in town? Jack is the sneakiest little fellow there is, always pranking us and making us unhappy. <gasps> that can't be right. Everyone knows I'm the trickiest trickster in town. It's because I'm a witch. That's what we do. It's in the job description. And on that fall day on October 31st, the witch made a decision that will change Jack's life forever. I'm going to prove I'm the trickiest one there is. Jack can't beat me. I'm the tricky witch. Later that day, Jack was walking on the trail back home when a mysterious figure approached him. Whoa, what's that? Hello, Jack. I have to warn you about something important. The Tricky Witch has heard about your pranks and wants to prove that she is the trickiest one in town. Impossible. I'm the trickiest trickster there is. You may be in major trouble. So, I'm always in trouble. You don't understand. The Tricky Witch will stop at nothing to prove that she is the trickiest one there is. The only way you can be safe from her is if you stop pulling pranks on people. Only then will she leave you alone. No way, angel food cake. Playing tricks is what I do. You need to stop playing tricks on people. Nobody likes it. And the witch will never leave you alone until you behave. Let her. I bet I'll bother her more than she bothers me. The angel could see that persuading Jack to be better wasn't going to work. Well, if you won't listen to my advice and behave yourself, there is one way to stop the witch, but it won't work for too long. Go on. It's autumn, and the one thing that the witch hates more than anything is the fall harvest. She especially hates root vegetables like pumpkin, squash, potatoes, turnips. She hates potatoes? You mean she doesn't even like french fries? Not one bit. She doesn't even like sweet potato fries. My point is, if you aren't going to be good, you can at least try and stop her with that. But she'll be back. Whatever. I'll be fine. I don't care if she tries to one-up me forever. I'll always be the trickiest guy there is. Well, just in case, I will give you this to ward off the witch, should she come our way. If she touches it, she will be banished from our world and won't be able to come back until next year. Cool, I'll take it. Ew, what's this? It's a turnip. You know, a gourd, a root vegetable, grows in the ground, sometimes put it on salads. Have you ever eaten anything healthy, ever? The only food I eat is candy, french fries, chocolate, and candy. Wow, that's a lot of junk. I bet it hurts your belly. Do you always have a stomach ache? Yes. Anyway, use it to keep the witch away, but remember, she'll never truly leave you alone until you give up your prankster ways and become a good contributor to society. Save the spiel, Jack. Ow. And so Jack left the angel and started going home. Just kidding, he pranked her first. Oh, I should have seen that coming. But after pranking the angel, Jack headed home. And once again, as Jack got close to his house, he noticed something else on the path in front of him. Hey, you pile of scrap, out of my way. Please, young man, can you help me up? Hmm, let me think about it. Psych. You just made a big mistake, young Jack, for it is I, the Tricky Witch! <laughs> oh no, it's the Tricky Witch! That's all we have for you today, boys and girls. Do you think Jack will listen to the angel's warning? Will Jack help the witch or leave her on the ground? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, I'm Miss Booksy, and make sure to join me next time for Chapter 2 of Tricky Jack. See ya!
see ya. Bye.